Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 41 of the Red Force Podcast. My name is Eric Tolado. Joining me today is Christian Tolado. Hello. From the beginning. Here we are. Appreciate Braga coming along, getting those bumps and subs and shit. Yeah. Always comes along with a hurricane, that Braga. Hurricane of... Hurricane of uh, good the, vibes. The PDA gang. Welcome all new subscribers and shit. Uh, you want to talk about well the new show, Christian? Jojo show came out Saturday. Yes. Uh, I would say it went very well. Okay. Uh, heaps of views. Good views. Good yeah. views. Uh, people are interested. And uh, <laughs> it's going to continue. So watch it. And it's piss and tits. It's going to get tighter as it goes along, ladies and gentlemen. Just like this show. Yeah. Super tight. 40, I want to cut it down to 30 minutes. Yeah, 41 episodes in, Christian. And this show has never been tighter. Okay. Now. Do you want to talk about the elephant in the room, Christian? What? The, the, sh- the new One Piece opening. That absolute... Opening 21. Abysmal. Oh, my God. One piece opening. Mm-hmm. I thought it could. I thought hope was bad. I thought. I thought hope was mediocre. Okay. It angered me. All right. The first time, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. You have to hear it week after week. It gets annoying. Yeah. This one, first listen, I hate it. Okay. Let's talk about the music. Manufactured garbage J-pop. Can we get someone in who understands and likes the show? Okay. I don't need a record company coming in. Yeah. Making a shit J pop song. No, there are no good J pop songs. Alright. Terrible music. Yep. Yeah. Terrible song. Alright. We don't need boy bands. Alright? Mm-hmm. Terrible song. Uh terrible animation. Yeah. Reused animation. No. Uh things in there that don't make any sense. Yeah, weird stuff going on. Weird three D mirror. Christian. This is the thing. Song, whatever your music tastes are, whatever. Alright? That's whatever. On a closer reflection, there are some good st- good sections that are new in this thing. The but category stuff, alright. The category stuff, there's also a few other things that are good. But we can't see them because they're blacked out. But. Why even put them in there? You're just going to black them out. The scenes that are abysmal are abysmal. Why are there stills in an opening? And this... Must come to the conclusion of unfinished and rushed. Because half of the new stuff is good and half of the new stuff is shit ass. What is that? What is Brooke running into the camera doing? With that. Nothing. What is, with that sulking. What is Zora doing? He just doing Zora a slash. Zora just kind of standing there doing a really bad slash. A choppy, real slow. choppy slash. Just adding, just filling time. What are all these weird effects going on? I don't get it. Why is there a fucking texture? On the sky. Awful. What is Toei doing? Mm-hmm. Alright? If you don't have time to animate something, outsource it. Hopefully, it gets better song's terrible. over time, okay? The song, whatever, alright? The song's whatever. Hopefully, the visuals get better as we continue on. Yeah. Now, Christian. On the other hand. What? Same episode of the uh, opening... Oh, the episode was fantastic. The episode was pretty good. Not as good as JoJo episode one, of course. because... Oh, because this is One Piece we're talking about. Yeah. But when I saw that Kong gun, it fills me with hope and reminds me how bastard Gear 4 is. Gear 4 is bastard. Alright. Well, part of this dope people beautiful. have said. Absolutely beautiful. Now, do you want to talk about Chopper versus Big Mom? I don't, why is it... It's so unnecessary. It's not even a block. Chopper puts out his hand, and then the sword hits his fingers. They didn't even try and fake it, by the way. They didn't even like add a flash of impact or anything. They're just like they got they got yeah. a transformation of Chopper and put Big Mom hitting his fingers. They're just like, yeah. it's just. <sighs> but the episode good morphing scenes were a bit weird because they were obviously generated. But sure, you we're know. not here to talk about the anime. Good. We're going to get into some goat scenes soon. We hit it when we the Dota, right? And when we cut this fight scene and put it on YouTube, spliced together with all the sure. best bits, sure. the masses will come. Sure. Get ready for it. 
Now, Christian, anything else about One Piece this week? Got some Vera cards. We're not going to talk about them until we get legitimate, but trustworthy legitimate, translations. I trust. I trust Arthur from the Ohara, Ohara forums. Yes. Or the Library of Ohara blog to tell us what's up. Because last time they were extremely embellished. Yeah. At this time, they're also extremely embellished. One hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, Zoro's the second strongest in the crew. Why are we getting more information on Zoro? Okay. We already got his card. We'll see. There's supposed to be information about Rayleigh here. I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen any of it. Apparently that information is from a leak. So even more suspect. Suspect. Okay. So not commenting on those until we get some you know, solid info. <sighs> is that it? Is that all we got to say? Yeah, One Piece. Should we just end the show here? No. Oh. We need to do the chapter. Okay. What are you talking about? Now, Christian, a glorious chapter. Before we get into the chapter, it's time for bets. Oh. How many panels will Sanji be in? Christian, massive L here. Well, here's the thing. Yeah. I thought we were going to get a traditional flashback. We got a, st- a story time with Kidamon. We got a story time with Kidamon. I wasn't expecting that. I got blindsided. Okay. Oda serves me up a curveball. Yep. So, that's all I had to say. I said three. Christian said two. I win because there was. Eight. Nine. Nine. And three of them were in the cover page. <laughs> yeah. You want to talk about it? Oh, we'll get into it. Christian, next. We're going to, because there's a break this week, sad times. Yep. We will be doing the bridge in the gap of the reviews. Drum Island. Drum Island, yep. Also through the box of the gap, but yeah. Well, we continue. Sure. Because uh, we're, yeah. We did them out of order for some reason, because, you know. Whatever. How many... Flasks, potions, beakers, glass objects that are used to mix chemicals or medicine will be in this arc. Background can shot. Anything that matches this description. Beakers, vials, glasses. Any glass object used to mix chemicals. So, it doesn't count if there are chemicals in the background. In like a, a, a potion. Specifically mixing sets, beakers, things like that. Not so, but not not finished products. So if I mix Nothing corked. If there are two Nothing bottles, corked. If there are two bottles being poured into each other, does that count as two? Yes. Nothing corked. That's a stipulation. I'm gonna say Nothing corked or sealed. I'm gonna say Forty-five. Forty-five. Now, do I go the low or the high? Sixty. Sixty. There we go. Now, who's counting this? Me. Is Chris is not going to check it? I'm going to tell you that Drum Island's not. Drama Island is uh, two volumes. Who should we got here? Lock mixing potions, all right? It's two volumes. It's two volumes. We got Chopper learning medicine. Sure. Chemistry sets everywhere. That means a fourth of every uh, every a fourth. Well, you have to break down panels and every how many. four pa- every every four pages has to be a, a vial in it. For that's got to be like six vials in one panel. Sure. All right. I said 45, Eric said 60. There we go. The score at the moment, Christian. Yeah. Three. Two. Is this the point in where I take the lead and get a good margin above you? Or does Christian come back and keep it even? You know. Two weeks in a row for me. What do you, th- what do you think about that? You copped a big L last week. Wow. So that, that still... Still know, on the lead, Still, yeah. still holds on. Now, we do, what are we doing? We're doing this in seasons, or we're just doing this forever? Forever, keep it, keep it. 600 to 402. Yeah. Okay. Until the show ends, I guess. Can we get into this chapter? Now, Christian. He wants to get into the chapter. It's a go chapter. He's ready to get into it. It is the go Shall we get into it? Yes. Christian, you wanted to do the chapter. Let's go. Wait, what do you... First Go on. thing, the cover page. Alright. Zoro and Sanji fight in their dreams. And also maybe fight in the real paddle. We've got some requests going on. Request, so... Do you have any insight to how many requests we're going to get? 
Is there a standard that you, that comes to your mind? It seems about it's about seven to ten. Okay, that's It'll a, be a while. That's more than I thought. Yeah, we get it for ages. Okay. Yeah. Until something relevant starts. Until Ori wants to do something. Okay. And there's really no rule. It's, just, it's, it's what Ori wants to do. Yeah. Alright. So, you know, this isn't canon. Yep. But it does, you know, fan the flames. On the side of the US. Oda, 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 Oda loves fanders. He Oda started that. Oda flames. started that. Alright? I'm not gonna. The fanboys didn't start that. Oda started that. Oda, start, Oda, Oda sparked it. Oda sparked and it. And what a genius move on his side. Sure. I mean, Oda sparked that shit in. Which we, Island Park. Yeah. So, there you go. Pretty much immediately. Yeah. So there we go. Do I was going to ask who do you think would win, but we're not going to go down that road. That's a that's a an hour discussion. People are, people are talking about, yeah, okay, Zoro with no swords, because he doesn't have any swords at the panel. We get it, all right? We get it. Shall we get into the chapter? Yes. Odin was the son of the Shogun. Yes. First thing. All right. Fucking kid him on story time. All right. Just going to be a whole bunch of text, a whole bunch of talking. Yes. A whole bunch of information. So, Odin was the sh- was the son of the Shogun. The Shogun's name, Suka Yaki. Another Japanese name. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So, Suka Yaki. We're going to go with that. Shogun Suka Yaki. But, you know, Odin, dangerous boy. Yep. Renegade son. So dangerous, he gets kicked out of the capital. Violence. We assume women, things like that. You were kicked out to the law to the land of Ka- of Kuri, you know, lawless part of Wano. Yep. Bandits of thieves run wild. All right. You know. Imagine Jaya. I think that's a fair comparison. Yeah. Uh, Odin defeated the strongest man there, named Ashura Doji. Quote unquote, the demon child. Now, Oda, you already use this moniker for Robin. Yes. Why use it another one? Can't be two demon childs. We're getting hype for Odin here, which in tandem hypes Orochi. Now, comments on the absolute headcanon of Ashura somehow relating to Zoro's move, Ashura, and that Zoro will master this technique while training with him in Wano. You know, the Tofu made anything possible, so here we are, Christian. <laughs> the man's name is Ashura. Therefore, he must have the Ashura power. I can't handle it anymore. Alright? What do you think about that? You I can't handle that? it anymore. You gotta stop with the Zoro bait. Alright. So, you know, Odin defeated this man. Yes. The most he, dangerous criminal. The most there. dangerous criminal, criminal in, in Korea. Korea. He created industry and jobs. He gave the people a way to make the town better. Yep. You know. Made the farm. Made the town respectable. Uh, protected people. Made it so that they can build the shit without Doji coming in and wrecking it. Yep. Uh, you know. Built the paradise. He farm. was given the title of Daimyo for cleaning up this place. You know, like he made the paradise old. farm. Now I'm gonna say the paradise farm is only for the area of Kuri, not the flower capital, okay. because it seems that this paradise yeah. farm relates to Kuri specifically because it's got to do with Odin and his and his way do of you, life. Do you think Orochi would use that for the flower capital though? Because it's like and not give it to the well, people. I assume the flower ca- capital district has no pollution around it. All the pollution is in Kuri. Sure, but is that like the main farm in the entire country? No. Perhaps. It doesn't seem that big. I think it's for it's for the main town of Kuri. Okay. Where Kaido's men were Orochi men. Jack's was. district. Perhaps. Jack's district's farm. Okay. Where only they can have it. You might be able to argue that, like, maybe that's why there's not enough food to go around, apart from control. Yeah. That he gives it, he uses that farm as his main farm, and f- all the poor people can fuck off. But Curie, but whatever, yeah, Curie yeah. seems like it's where the factories are, where yeah. all that well, shit's going on. Well, outside Curie. has to be absolutely massive, by the way. Okay. When well, we got that zoom out shot, you see uh, Bakura Town, you see the whole horizon line... And it's still bland mass. Yep. And we don't even see the flower capital or all man Fuji. Okay. So, one was absolutely massive. So, I doubt they have one farm. Maybe the flower capital is behind the camera. 
joke about that. Could be. <laughs> it could be. Yes, Wano is very big. Oh, uh, but that's Wano, why we already have mounts. I think Wano is at least as big as Alabaster. I wonder if just assume Japan. As big as Japan. Sure. That's really big. Yeah. That's a legitimate island. We've got two weeks to travel. Oh, we'll get to that. So, you know, uh, you know, he, uh, he made the, uh, he was, uh, named Dynamo and, uh, he had his signature catchphrase of, it's too cramped in here. Mm-hmm. You know, he, like, he likes his, his fucking space. He wants to open the borders. He wants we to get open it. the borders. Yeah. All right. We get it. Or not telling you what Orin wanted. Meanwhile, Zoro is lost. Going to the dock that Odin built. You can't believe Kawaru got lost with him on him. Classic Zoro. Blaming other people for him getting lost. And yes, Zoro is going on a boat somewhere. Where is he going? Could it be a specific island? Early. Would it be an island with an Oni on it? Who knows? Maybe. Who knows? Dogstorm is here on the beach. No peg leg, it's a kill situation all over again, Oda. Give this man a peg leg. Please give this man a leg. <laughs> give this man some sort of replacement leg. Yes. Otherwise, he's going to be hopping around like Kiros all the time. Notice in the background, Sicilian and Zebra Man. Such female. And, and um, Dingo Man. Whatever the fuck that yes. is. Yeah. The Musketeers are here. So we should get some Sicilian full power memes. So, are these Musketeers at least as strong... As Pedro. Sure. There's no reason not to believe so. Sure. Yeah, okay. So, they're competent. Pedro didn't have a specific rank. He's either. a guardian. And it's kind of like... He did, the, yeah, but it's the other side of the... Yeah, other side of the coin. He, did, he wasn't like second in command or whatever. He was just like one of the dudes. Who were the guardians? Well, like... Rody the guardians are the ones with the green Yeah, no, but like... Coats. Who were the like... Yeah, like, Rody and, and Blackback... And Blackback. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh, uh, that's it. Yeah, right? And the carried ones. They they wild birds or whatever the fuck. They count as both. Anyway, uh, it's kind of it's kind of hint, like mentioned, kind of suggested that Pedro and Sicilian are like parallel All on the same level. Yeah, yeah. All right, Camp Viper and Dogstorm washed up on the beach, and you know people feared them, but Orion was different. He said. The fear of alien of the alien only exposes your ignorance. No, oh, here we go. Oda with the message. Oda with the political message. Pick it aside. I mean, it's a, it's a fairly easy, easy side to pick. Okay. Uh, you're not making any hard choices picking the non-racist side. Yes. Uh, Oda called people ignorant. Yep. So, that's a meme. There we go. That they're young here, though. How young are, How old are they? In well, real time, like like thirty. I'm gonna assume thirty two. I thought they were like fifty. I'm gonna assume they washed up there. I guess they were young, ten. Let's just like say ten. Maybe dog cat years or whatever the fuck. I maybe ten. Oh, Pedro Odin, has zero. No, Odin, at the age of twenty, became Darby. Yeah. He has to build a family. He has to tw- fight his wife. It was twenty years ago. That's never stated. Okay. The story is. He was he became died died mode twenty when he was twenty when he was twenty yeah. found dogs over Neko Neko Rushi and yeah. fuck the English names okay because they're stupid yep alright found so him at some point they found him uh you gotta assume that you know he what had to kill his family thirty years ago or something he's probably forty when he got killed I don't know. we could do the math. It's probably Roger's age when Ped- he Pedro was young when he met Roger. Roger had to be the X age, and that was X years ago. Do well, the equation. The do the, the equation journey. in the comments below. I'm gonna say. Uh, Ariel was forty when he died. Okay. That's what I'm gonna say. So it's twenty years. Yeah. Died be for twenty years. Maybe. You know. Okay. So. Kaido. Has to be from Wano. Has to be from Wano. From, from Wano. Has to be from Wano. Mm. Why would Orochi trust someone who is not from Wano? From Oni Island specifically? From, or from Oni the... Island. Which is part of Wano. Is that where the race comes from? Yes. Okay. Because there's a line there where it says the Isle of Ogres. Yeah. Oni race. So Kaido's an, an ogre. 
oh, Kaido has to be from this island. Otherwise, why would Orochi trust him mm. to take part in this? Can't trust an outsider. Can't trust an outsider. Fear the, Maybe fear the situation's the so desperate that he needs it, but... I think this deal was struck in between Kaido and Orochi, so Kaido could become an emperor. This event well, led... Like 40 years ago. 20 years ago. After the rocks is dead. After, after Roger dies, it's the age of the four emperors. Yeah. So, that but, makes sense. Yeah, after the rocks was disbanded... Kaido, after, after Kaido Ro- goes to Wano and makes his deal goes with... Goes back the- home, goes back to... Goes to Orochi. Oh, yeah. yeah. Makes the deal, takes over Wano, becomes an emperor. Mm. His he's, he's, crew's already strong, he just needs to... And, work. I will add, Orr's probably from Oni Island. Yeah, it's called the Isle of Ogres. Yeah. So, so Oni race. We're going to see... We're going to see, what, Red Ogres, Blue Ogres... Normal Ogres. Mo- Moria, Orr's, and then... Normal ogres. Yeah. The blue, okay. So that's this is what I'm assuming. This is my head cannon right now. Alright. Kaido was not yet an emperor. He came back to his hometown, home village after Rox was disbanded. Yes. After Roger's death. He comes back to the his, his island. I mean, maybe he was already king of that island or whatever. King, king of Origasha Island. Yep. Orochi, power hungry man, goes to this legendary island to gain power. Mm-hmm. Talks to Kaido, makes, makes a deal. It, makes a deal with the devil. Makes a deal with the devil. Exactly. Okay. Uh, Kaido gives him the muscle he needs yep. to take over Wano. Kaido is the true ruler of Wano. And then becomes an emperor. Thing. And then becomes an emperor because he's got land, because he's got influence. Okay. Whatever. That's my head cannon right now. Do you think we'll see this deal? Go yes. Because I think it's going it's to be like he, he did a deal with an evil entity. He did a deal with the ogres. Yeah. I think it's got to do with something like okay. that. So that's what I'm thinking right now. You know, outside world, why would Orochi trust someone who's not in he, in mm. the in the world of Wano? Yeah. There yeah. must there mustn't be very many of these ogres, or they must not leave. Because we know We know that Wano has been a closed country for centuries. Yes. It's not a recent thing. Do we think we get a f- flashback similar to Big Mum of, of Kaido? Yeah, I think we get that. Young Kaido. Young Kaido, because he's got a backstory. He's got like he wants to kill himself. Yeah. Looking for a place to die. Yeah. So there's gonna be some sort of backstory behind that. Okay. All right. Odin is getting emperor hype right now, because everybody loves him. Roger loves him. Whitebeard loves him. All right. He charmed. He charmed them. We get it. All right. Everyone loved Odin. Odin's hype. It's sad that he's dead. Yeah. We, we wish Oren was still alive. Can we get a face so we can attach a name to the face? That'd be great. Comments on the silhouette. Uh, 70 stash. Yep. Perhaps goatee. Yep. Unknown because of the because of the silhouette. Yeah. Uh, maybe comical top knot. Undecided on what the hair is. Maybe chef's on. hat. Maybe he's a cook. I mean, I doubt it. I mean, what is all about food? Could be a dumb royal hat from Japan. Who knows? But, but why not is all about food? Again. Kinda. You know, Feed the Hungry, Paradise Farm. People not starving. really. It's about more, more about well, the first half and then food comes into it. You know, first half, kind of. First ten chapters is about food. Yeah. So, I don't know. Looks kind of weird. Yeah. C- could it be a whale fin? Because of the whale tree. I was thinking about Ikazuki, it. Kazuki. Yeah. Mystery behind the whale tree. His hair looks like a whale. Yeah. Possible. Possible? We'll see. Sure. Well, maybe it looks like an ogre. Do we think, do we think just good swordsmen or would we talking devil fruit or what? I think they would... That's hard because he doesn't have the time fruit. Yes, obviously he doesn't have the time uh, fruit. Everyone else has a devil fruit in his crew. In his crew, yeah. yeah. Maybe he has a devil fruit. I think he's a really strong swordsman, obviously. Mm-hmm. I don't know about the devil fruit. That's a, that's a tough one. I can't... Who knows? We'll see. So, they get, they, you know, they say the Kazuki had no allies at the point of, point of Odin's execution. So, everyone abandoned them. Yeah. Because, you know, they're going to open the borders, the evil. Propaganda, probably. Propaganda, no one trusts them. Yeah. Inarashi Nekomamushi started their fight on the way to Odin Castle. Probably about the execution, not doing anything to stop it. That kind of thing. That kind of argument. 
Orochi wanted to destroy the entire Kazuki clan. In the chapter, right there. Yes, including the Shogun. So we assume this is a hostile takeover of the Shogun, and Odin is the last piece of the puzzle. Odin's the, the catalyst, just the reason he gives to start this fight. Your son wants to open the borders, he's dangerous, yeah. your family's dangerous. But you've got to assume he gets, he gets trialed and executed. Yeah. So he does take over from the, he has to take over from the Shogun because he doesn't have that power. Okay. Unless his father's evil. Unless his, his father's, father's like, you, you broke the rules far. of Wano, you have to be executed. You've gone too far. He kicked him out once. Yeah, you've gone too far with these renegade ideas. Yeah. Maybe his father's evil, who knows? That could be, that could be Maybe he's just a lawman, that's but not necessarily... But Orochi didn't want to destroy the entire Kazuki clan. Yeah. So there's got to be some sort of backstory there. So, yeah. Right now, it has to be the deal with the devil. For the hungry power. Yeah, I, th- I think that's what it's got to be. Kano set the castle on fire with his men. Uh, looks like we get a look at the other calamities. Yeah. Little, little silhouettes. No female, one is there. So... It's a win for us. Is the queen theory... Up in flames. You know, people attaching Nakam, uh, Okama. Okama. Well, Okama's a very specific... Maybe. ...island. Sure. But we don't know where Bong Clay is from and shit. So. Possible. He could be from... He could be from there. Uh, I'd like it because it gives... A lighter side to Kata Screw. We're all edge and... and, and uh, men we're moment. gonna be all edge. So... I mean, Kaido's gonna win. It's not really Edge, it's just like 80s machismo. But we've got like Jack with a stupid haircut. Yeah. Pika Man is gonna look stupid in some way. And uh, bald Eggman mustache man. Yeah. I mean, if he has fish their stockies, he looks stupid. I can see it. Definitely can see it. That's something. Wearing a little midi skirt. Has the walrus fruit or something. Hilarious. Why would Kaido put up with that? And dominate Zoro? Why would Kaido put up with that? Hey man, he's strong. That's all he cares about. So it's it's wider it's tradition. Zoro gets happy. dominated by uh, Okama. I'll put that as a title. Let's not do that. Put that into Google. Let's see see what comes up. Let's not do that. Let's okay. also not do that. So into the abyss. You know we're gonna we'll, we're gonna look at those. Uh, a couple of interesting designs. Silhouettes. No, that again. Can. Still no silhouette of Orochi. Can we get visuals? I'm sick of silhouettes from Oda. Nah, 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 Void Sentry. Void Sentry. Obviously. Obviously. Mankind cannot go into the past. Goda just saved One Piece. You're a smart man. You can't go back in time. You can only go forward. Now, assuming that his time works where she doesn't create multiple time... She doesn't sh- create sh- multiple universes when she moves. No. Because she moves... She doesn't make a copy of herself and shit. It's very what are you talking about? You know, people no. make people making people confusing time things. Christian. It's clean. It's simple. It's clean. I'm happy. It's clean. It's clean. It's simple. Everyone can understand traveling forward into time. It's not that hard. Yes. So Odo saves one piece by not, you know, creating plot holes, uh, retconning things, going back into the past and fixing shit. Let's not do that. All right. So then. You know, Toki, you know, says this is her final destination. Is she sick of just losing everything she loves? If she's, I don't know. Because that's what it sounds like. She's like, I've travelled further into the future so many times. Maybe was, she was this so enchanted final... by Odin. Yeah. That she what... decided to settle Kinemon down. Kinemon does say, you mean Lord, Lord yeah. Odin. Yeah. So I'm assuming this is more of an emotional connection, connection children. than a power limit. Yeah. So, Toki has the time time fruit. Time time fruit confirmed. What are your thoughts on the time time fruit? Um, it's fine. The thing is, right? Yeah. 
don't like how it was delivered. Kind of breaks the context of which the Kazuki understand devil fruits. They never said devil fruit. Yeah, they said the, her time the time, time power. ability. Oda said time time to make it clear that it's a devil fruit. They have to make it clear for the yeah. stupid people. I get it. The dumb dumb people. I mean, she calls it the time time power because yeah, she knows. Because she knows. Yes. Okay. It's fine. And 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 Kitty wants still being coy about it was it's a rumor. It turned out to be true. Her mystical powers. Yeah. So they don't really know what's going on with that. Okay. Now, assumingly, she's dead because last chapter she was burning in the castle, giving direct curses to She did say, to this Orochi, is my so. final destination. Yes. Maybe to protect her daughter, she she dies. But why did she send the daughter to did you yeah, man? Yeah, yeah. Did you mention the sister? I will. But. There's got to be limits because we're missing nine, four, we're missing four samurai and a sister. Is and the herself. guy in the straw hat with the square on it, Hitetsu? He's a fat guy, he's, he's, he's stumpy, he's got a big hat so you can't see his big nose, he's always looking down. Kitetsu. Is it Kitetsu? Kitetsu did say he's waiting, be waiting for someone, longer than Now, I, I went back, in the, in the chapter where Kitetsu turned up, Yeah. no moon on the ankle can be found. But? But, there's one ankle that's always obscured. Well, there you go. So, if it's on, if it's on the obscured ankle... Well played, Oda. God, God played by Oda. God played by Oda. But, we'll see. It, yes, Kitetsu will enter into the fray. Well, if he's one of the nine, does that mean he had to tattoo the moon onto his ankle? Well, assumingly he didn't move into the, into the no, future. No, he didn't. He didn't. He, he, didn't. Yeah. he didn't come. So, maybe he doesn't have to do it because he's one of the nine? Yeah. Who knows? Probably one of the nine. He's hiding his face with the Tengu the mask. appearance. Yeah. Could be... Hitetsu. I mean, he doesn't necessarily... His nose doesn't necessarily have to be that long. It, could be it doesn't even have to be... Yeah, it, has to be, it could be a mask. Yeah. Exactly. So... But it, it appears that he's painted... His face? No, it could, it could go either way. Could go... Yeah, okay. But it's like wrinkles you, and shit. You know, you know how it is. With One Piece. Alright. Lord Odin... Wish is to strike down both Orochi and Kaido so they can open the borders. They want to open the borders. They want to open the borders. They have to take down both. Give us, like Christian said, give us the positive angle to opening the borders. We'll get it. We'll get it. But the most important one here is both Orochi and, Orochi and Kaido have to be taken down. Yes. Alright? Odin's will. Kaido has to be taken down. Kaido's being taken down. We get the plan. This 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 chapter. It's happening. Kaido will lose. What happened to the sister? Left behind. Did not. What happened to the sister, sister and the mother? Mother, I, I'm gonna say is dead. Mother obscured via silhouette constantly. Point. What is the point? I think is it, Oda, I think Oda's waiting for the full flashback. I mean, people are like it's Aimu. The context doesn't really make sense. I think it has to do with Oda wanting to reveal all the silhouettes at once in the full flashback. We okay. get Oda's appearance. We get the wife's appearance. We get uh, the sister's appearance. Kaido's calamities appearance. I get it. There's fire. You know, it's hot. I get it. In yeah. that specific scene. Sure. But is it is this necessary? He wants to reveal it later. But what's the point? There has to be a reveal. What's the point of the reveal if we do, if it's a new character? Because it's going to reveal some sort of void sentry race. Mihawk eyes? With the Mihawk eyes. Then it's definitely Aimu. Then it's part of Aimu's race. The void sentry race. She's got the third eye? No. They would have said that. Maybe it's obscured by her bangs that she has. Will it be the Void Century, uh, you know, Age Kingdom? It has to be the Void Century play. Why introduce the time for it otherwise? I think she has the time, the uh, Mihawk eyes. Tying into the... Uh, whatever, the eyes of whatever. The Age of Kingdom. I don't, want, I don't want no eye shit. It doesn't do anything. It just t- tells people that they're from the, uh, you know, Age of Kingdom. They had that bloodline. Because Aimu had, let's just say Aimu has the immortality surgery. And Toki has the time for it. 
So Mihawk though? Mihawk's part of the race. This this legendary race. The legendary race. you know Angel Kingdom Angel race. Kingdom race. I don't know about that. But anyway. Just a little bit of head cannon for you. I mean, why else obscure? So unnecessary. Why else obscure? Well, it's, so, it's, just, it's just an odor. If you notice... I get when, why you obscure, you know... If you notice... Navy Admirals. If you notice, when... Uh, what's his... Moment Osuke is talking to Zunisha. Yeah. Zunisha has the Mihil guys. Mm. What's going on there? Kind of. Christian, I just want to... Like, I get it, we obscure Green Bull. Because his design... Is important. It's going to be cool. And he's going to be in the story. I, I gave you a reason. <laughs> I gave you a reason. You, you obscure the sister. Like, if the sister is a, is a new character, what's I, the point? I think the sister's a new character that's going to turn up. She it, survived. Is it, or is it, it Oka, to, what, o, Otosuru? Otosuru. No, it's not. She's going to be 28, right? Because she didn't go into the future. She didn't go into the future. Or 20, whatever. She's going to be like 24. 520, whatever. So, who knows? What the deal with that is? Yeah. I assume it's a new character, some sort of. Is the mother the woman playing the Shimisei in the first chapter of Wano? Who knows? Or the sister? Is a, or the sister? Is the mother alive? The mother's not alive. Okay. She said it's her final resting place. Yeah. Why would you say that and then appear in the future and then not love She wanted to die with her husband, etc., etc. Et this is her final. You know, she had to see. Journey. She had to carry her son into the future. Uh, yeah. You can only do five at a time, or whatever. That's a lim- there's a limit. Yeah, to some, it. some 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 limit. Let's let daughter die. Some some cool down. Who knows? There we go. So you know, happy days that Oda saved One Piece this week. Oh, fantastic! Because you can go back. To Anger the unjustified, Christian. I told you. But usually, anger is usually unjustified. I told you. Such is the human condition, Christian. I told you last week. So I worry about I mean, it still annoys me because it justifies all the crazy still. But the Goda is the Goda. The Goda delivers, Christian. I said that we got to trust in man. I told you. Yeah. This is no different than having a tantrum in Hulk Gold. Okay. Alright? You are upset by the rate. Upset by the possibility of nonsense. And I said, don't worry, because the goat is going to solve the problem. And he delivered. Praise be to Oda. Praise be to the Goat King. The Goda. Alright, so, you know, we're going to recap of the Kanemon events. Yep. You know, they went to Parkhouse. They got lost. They got lost. They they, they, they go on a zone to get reinforcements. Just in case you forgot, and it kind of clears up the whole... They were spotted, so that's why they know. They... they, is there a dude telling them the plan that's on the Kazuki side? A traitor. Yeah. Or do they just know? Because of the prophecy or something. Well, they did get spotted. Leaving. Leaving. Yeah. But how do they know specifically that Rizo's on... Zoro. On Zoro, and they don't ask anyone else. Who's feeding them the information? It's a good point. I have no idea. Some sort of... It's the monkeys, but... Uh, What's his name? B- Barata? Barate or some shit? Yeah, Barate. Sort of yeah, it's a Barate. I don't know, Christian. Probably, I don't know, we'll find out. We'll find out who the traitor is. Maybe. Surely. It'll be a squad situation. It's a sister. It's, a, it's gonna be a squad situation. sister's a right hand man. It's gonna man. be a squad situation who's an absolute fucking moron. Yeah. That squad thing is so fucking stupid. Stupid. Like, what are you doing, mate? You're so stupid. You got manipulated by Sengoku. For well, no not reason. Sengoku, Alkahinu. Wow, Sengoku was in London as well. Ah, uh, it was, it was Alkahinu's plan. Good. Yeah. Well, right. Whitebeard's getting you here to die. Whitebeard told you, right? <laughs> Whitebeard told you. The sins of the father do not carry on to the son. Yeah. Alright, that's enough. That's why you joined the Whitebeard Pirates. Anyway, enough about Whitebeard, Christian. And Squad. Blah, blah, blah. We get, we get the recap of who's on our side. Alright. The reveal of the island. That kind of puts everything into context. I like it. Only island, Christian. Two weeks. Quote unquote, the Isle of Ogres. Yeah. Is the only race confirmed? It's gotta be. This is where we are. Blue Ogres, Red Ogres. Who's a Blue Ogre? 
Moria. He's just really white. He's blue. He's really white. He's slightly blue. He's not white. He's translucent white. All right. But you know, there's red and blue ogres and shit. The, we can assume that there's different types of ogres because there's different types of giants. Different types of fishmen. Yeah. Yeah. Different types of minks. Sure. Minks make it no sense. Fishmen make no sense. Fishmen, I get. I, I no. can accept because they're fish. No. We're going cross species in the minks. What are you talking... We got sharks. We got fucking dolphin people. Yeah, I guess. We got mermaids. We got fishmen giving birth to mermaids. Yeah, it's a mess. But, you know... What's more acceptable, Christian? What's more acceptable, fishmen or minks? You know what I'm saying? The mink system makes no sense. The fishman system makes a little bit of sense. Okay. So... Here we are. So, we need 5,000 men to go to this island and take our cargo. 5,000? That's pretty close to the Grand Fleet. But we already got a heap. We got the minks. We got the minks. We got the straw hats. Zoranisha's got to come in. On the, on the ships. On that scene. Why have the cover story at leading into Wano? You know, I can see it happening. Is this where they... Is it too early, Christian? Because we're going to use them again in the last war, surely. Because the Grand Fleet turning up... It's, it's going to be like the Marine Fort War. They get one panel. One page each. Well, the utility is great. Sure. The utility. It, I'm good. telling you, it's going to be like Marie Fort, where the division commanders get like a page. How mad are people going to get when Bar blocks like Kaido's punches? It's unbreakable. Unbreakable. But is it unpushable? No. King Punch. Uh, Birdcage. Not Which unmovable. We established Not that the, unmovable. We, we established that the Birdcage is Breaks all rules. Yeah. Breaks, breaks the logical one it's, thing. It's like so overpowered just to like fucking have this stupid plot thing. It's really overpowered. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably like the most overpowered move we've seen. It's unbreakable. Like what are you, what are you supposed to do? Fucking Fujitora could even move it back. Well, Fuji, I'm own. sure Fujitora could have handled it. He was trying. He was pushing it back with Zoro. Yeah. And they couldn't push it back. Birdcage is dumb. And I'm about the Birdcage. What if the bird cage goes over Onigashi Island? Mingo escapes for the final war. Oh, Mingo is escaping it for the final war. Sure. Now, do we expect the Marines to get wind of this plan and go, we want a piece of this well, taking the, that Well, the says you can't mention the plan, don't, we can't get caught. Oh, all right. We're going to get caught. We're going to get caught. In about next chapter when Jack turns up. Yeah, we're going to get caught yeah. easily. Uh. So, do the Marines get involved saying, we want a piece of this taking down Kaido action? The Kazuki members are not necessarily pirates. They allied with pirates, but they're not necessarily pirates. Do we want to help? The well, Kazuki? we're assuming it's going to happen in two weeks. Sure. Big Mom. Big Mom's going to turn up. Big Mom's going to turn up. Maybe. Emeralds and shit. Greenbull has to be here. You give me a silhouette, and then you you make me wait three hours. Kizaru, Kizaru, and Greenbull and Fujitora. Just give me, just give me Greenbull because you gave me a silhouette. And you're not going to give me... Give him, give him to me the next said, side? Come on. Oda said this war is going to be greater than Marine Force. Is that true? People keep on... No, he did definitely say that. People keep on twisting that quote into whatever they want. He said that. Alright. In the, in the Jump Festa well, message. Two Emeralds... Two Emperors is better than an Emperor versus the Navy. We're going to have... Then oh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be an absolute fuck fest. That's why we're gonna yeah. get over. It's gonna Anna. be Albaz fears flying around for big bombs. It's gonna be Kaido doing whatever. This battle, this island's getting destroyed. Yeah. There we go. The battlefield set. Battlefield set. Oni Yasha Island, uh, also known as the Isle of Ogres, and uh, it's Kaido's home, home HQ. It's his base. It's where he's at. Yeah. Do you think when the real estate man was giving him a tour? He said, look at this giant mountain skull shaped mountain. like a skull with horns on it. Perfect for your crew aesthetic. It is. And he's like, I'll take it. Well, he's not the demon pirates, he's the beast pirates. I mean, he's, like, he's got horns, there's skulls everywhere. It's Oni Island. I get it. All it's right. the mystical Oni Island. As or, everyone or fucking is it called. A, or is it like a pyramid situation where he made his men carve this into the mountain? I assume it's been there forever. Yeah. It's where the ogres are born. Of course. So, this has been... Uh, 
fucking theorised since Kaido was introduced. The only island? The only island. Momotaro and the only island. Now, confirmed. Does this confirm his devil fruit or is he an only race? He's the only race with the dragon fruit. Okay. I think that confirms that. Well, he's, he's the only race. We don't know about the fruit. Devil fruit has to be dragon. I don't want... You know what? I'm still going with no devil fruit. No. Has to be... Dragon... Also a immortal creature. Okay. So, right. legendary dragon fruit. Uh, has a hybrid form. How do you? How do you do? How do you, All right. Okay. I can. I can go with a hybrid. Hybrid form. He already has horns. He just gets a fucking snap with teeth. All right. Has he's a already fake got dragon. the full on true. Yeah. Mustache. What is he pink? No, he's like please, black. Please let him be pink. He's the black dragon. Well, he'll be black in the manga, but he'll be pink. No, he's not gonna be fucking pink. Give me, give me that. Give me it. I want to see the memes. Surely. He's got scales on him. Fruit. I mean, it's pretty much it's, it's pretty much a dragon fruit. How did he get up to Sky Island? Jumped. Dragon fruit. Sure. He not the. No, he, Hopefully not a Western yeah. dragon. Hopefully a, a, a Chinese. It'll, dragon. It would be a Japanese Chinese dragon, yeah. Asian dragon. Yeah. Okay. And it'll be fucking crazy. Now I imagine pieces fall together, Christian, on nine twenty. Yeah, I imagine this form looks like. The Shenron from Namek. The, the buff one. Absolutely yoked out. I mean, that's so stupid. It's Adam just a dude with a, with a tail. Yeah, exactly. Is that a dragon? I don't know. Christian, what, what, do, you, what do you think about two weeks? Plenty of time to take out Orochi. Plenty of time to take out Orochi. Plenty of time for the plan to go wrong. Plenty of time for training. We've got about 40 chapters to take out Orochi, if our estimates are correct. 40 chapters? We said 50-50. We did? We might be wrong with that. Might skip the We gotta fight Jack. I we, gotta, we gotta do shit. We gotta get flashbacks. This gives... This gives content... This gives ample time for the Jack fight. Yeah. We got two weeks to get take out of Jack. But it won't happen. It'll happen earlier than two weeks. Sure. He could turn up. It's a two-day fight. Then defeat Jack. Okay. Or it's a five-day fight. Then defeat Jack. Yeah. Jack is the training. It gives time for time for Luffy to rest. Time for fight. Luffy to rest. Time for Luffy to train. Gear Fifthu. Yep. Two weeks after the Katakuri fight, he knows he needs. No, 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 don't give me the Gear Fifth. Just give me the Haki trader. Gear Four is overpowered. Who's he gonna train Haki with? Jack. No, I mean we want training. I mean, we could you could talk about Inorashi and Nekomamushi. Sure, I guess. Maybe Marco if he decides to turn up. Yeah. Maybe a uh, uh, secret. What if Katakuri turns up and trains Luffy? <sighs> maybe a secret. Roger Pirate, maybe secret. Shanks What's, Pirate. Uh, Scopper comes out of nowhere. Maybe, maybe Shanks is here. Maybe the Loki Legend is here. All things that are on the table, Christian. Give me your rating. A 10 out of 10 chapter. Very good. This is a 10 out of 10. Information. Now, you see what I said last week? Fix Christian? the series. Uh, hype sets the stage. Sets the stage. Everyone's hyped. Everyone's into Wano. Everyone's saying uh, Wano was shit. Everyone's saying Wano was hype. Here we go. That's how. That's how it is. Wano's hype. Now, mm-hmm. will the Zoro versus Zoro versus Luffy fight happen about the crew? Absolutely not. I'm so sick of hearing it. Christian, people don't understand the dynamics between the crew. It's we're 920 chapters deep. But Zoro said that one time in Water 7, that if this happens again, he's going to challenge in it. In different context. Completely. We already went through this last week. And I'm sick of hearing about it. Stop releasing videos about it. This is not going to happen. Stop taking... Now, if it does happen, if it does happen, I better get a goddamn good reason. It. What's going to happen? Zoro's, Zoro's going to walk up to Luffy and go, Hey, Luffy, how is that? How is Whole Cake Island? There's no time and, to talk about how And Luffy right. goes, yeah, it went well. Because Luffy would, Luffy's like, yeah, it went well. Look at the point that Luffy we got the, got the we got we got, That's his objective. And then Nami, out of spite for some reason, goes, Sanji beat the shit out of... Beat the shit out of Luffy. Now, I'd be more... What? If I was Zoro, I'd be more upset about Nami for what? that up. What? That, that would never happen. Yeah. It has to be some You're sort You're supposed of... to be a tight-knit crew. You don't spite each other. And Dad's is going to be spite... For this to happen, it has to happen in a believable 
way that suits the crew dynamic. Which is like... Zoro finds out Pedro and died. It's, it's fucking hypocritical if Zoro gets upset because it's Captain's orders. That's also true. That's also true. Alright? Sanji went through As enough. Z- Sanji already apologised multiple times. Zoro went through the whole thrill bark thing. He's right or die. Yep. He's not... No. He... Bad dad to me, Hawk. Now, Blue people misconstruing that scene completely, by the way. What do you mean? Me, they're spinning it. <laughs> they're, they're spinning it to be, be, make it to be not about Luffy, but about, but about Zoro. It's about Luffy. It's about his captain. He has to get stronger for his captain. He put aside his own pride for Luffy. Zoro, 100%. Zoro is. has no right to get involved for the amount of things Luffy's done for the crew. Zoro, 100% in. This is never going to happen. Let's move on. Sanji already feels terrible about the situation and is remorseful, unlike Usopp. Took him an entire arc to apologise. Exactly. So, enough about that rant. Uh, predictions. Anything could happen. We're at a junction point again. We keep on hitting these junction points. Anything could happen. And Oda keeps on choosing to stick with Luffy. Uh, could we go back to the reverie? No. Is it possible? No. Not possible. Oh, uh, we're setting up things. We might get some marine stuff. We're setting up the stage. We're setting the stage. For Do we months. get a cut to Whole Cake Island? Big Mom packing her bags, ready in the fleet. Can we see Frankie? Can we see Usopp? But what's a hype chapter after a break? True. Last page, Big Mom steps on the Shanter, sets sail for Wano. Okay. We're setting. We're already setting up this final Can battle. Can I create a new outfit? Kekuri needs new... No scarf anymore. New, no longer Edgelord... Edgelord... Wow. Wow. What, do you think he just wore a t-shirt and jeans? Maybe he just, you know... Gets rid of the scarf. He's the scarf's gone. The scarf's gets rid gone. of the edgy pants. Mm. Becomes... A warrior. Said the edgy man. I mean, it's not in Big, Mom, Big Mom's character to do this. What? I was gonna say, but what if she only sends Katakuri out with his crew? But it's not a big one's character. The triplets. Well, he he she sends she gives the task to Katakuri to go get. Not gonna happen. Nah. But it's not in a character. Don't know what happened. Big Mom does everything by herself. Now did Katakuri get demoted? No, he's did, still overpowered. Did Cracker get demoted? Everyone lost apart from Smoothie. What's she gonna do? That's true. It's kind of like if everyone loses, you can't punish. Yeah. Can't punish everyone. And Smoothie kind of lost because she didn't catch them. Everyone lost, so that, I think that's fair. Okay. So, that's a hype as that, that's a hype ending. Mm-hmm. The fleet, Big Mom's fleet. I mean, it's, it's a pipe that. dream. Let's let's get real. It's a pipe dream. It's a pipe dream, but hype. I just want to see my boy Frankie. Come on. Did you make step foot in water? That's going to happen later, mate. That's going to happen when we need Jinbei. What if we get Jinbei training? Training with Jinbei. Uh, Jinbei hockey training. Training with Uncle Jinbei. I like it. I like it. So We'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll anything see. can happen at this point. No more flashback. Do we get just to follow Zoro? No more flashback. We're going to start executing the plan. Whatever that means. Do we start following Zoro and his quest to dominate? We get a few pages of Zoro doing something dumb. Zoro spends the two weeks dominating all the dojo. Yeah, do we start with Jack? Jack gets a phone call. Jack's already on the way. Jack's Jack's moving. I think Zoro is going to go on the conquest journey of defeating all the samurai schools and recruiting all the samurai. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Because he's separated. He's going to go on the fucking he's journey. He's going to a different island, clearly. Well... Or he's going back into the city on the ferry. We don't know. He's gone somewhere. Because it did say the courier was connected via uh, wharfs. So this still could be the Four Island Theory. Not necessary. This still could be okay. the Four Island Theory. Courier's on a separate island. Flower Country's on a separate island. Yeah. Summer, spring, winter, autumn. Okay. We'll see. Still could happen. Well, we know that only island's in winter now. Yeah, that's the Winter Island. But it wasn't in winter when we saw it. Yeah, it was. It was always a winter. When we saw it this chapter? It's got like mist and shit okay. around it. It's not a close up. Alright. Oh. Next. What's the next? Uh. How strong your shakes?
That's what he says. Every week, we come to you with the question of how short is she? And every week, we answer. Shakes is the strongest. Shakes is the cocky. But the people out there who think other characters are stronger, like Kaido. Some people think Dragon stronger. And there are people out there who even think Aimu is the strongest. <sighs> but Chase is the strongest. And Chase is the good king. And every week we come to you with information that's 100% factually correct. And this week we come with the information. Chase is so strong, he alone could carry out the raid on Kyra's, uh, uh, Kyra's base and defeat all his crew with a single roundhouse kick. Indeed. Shanks is strongest. Shanks is got key. Now what's next, question? Uh, topic of the show. <laughs> Talk with the show, Christian. Continues on... The Wano, everyone gets a fight, uh, pipe dream. Potential, potential straw, hats. straw hats. This week, Brooke. Soul King Who. Brooke. Okay. Right. We saw the musical aspect in Hawkeye Gold. Yep. The Soul King, the spirits. Building upon... The uh, screaming soul. Building upon Fisherman Island. Yes. Now, in Wano, let's see the swordsmanship. Yep. Let's see what he can do with the sword. He unlocked the icy winds of hell during the time skip. Indeed. I think most people want to see him versus Apu because of music, the music, 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 musician versus musician. Yeah. It'd be cool, but that brings up questions of power level. That brings up questions of well, Apu, Apu being is a trash. Chub. So Apu being absolutely garbage for a supernova. I'm racist towards uh, long arm. Yeah, he hates long arm. Fucking hate it. He's ignorant towards long arm. It's true. <laughs> so that's what most people think is his final one because of the music long, long, long legs don't have two knees let's not get into a long arm oh alright racist screed alright can he now this is going to be crazy revive the spirit of Wano and we get a ghost army like Lord of the Rings Revise Ryuma. I mean, the ghost of Ryuma. The ghost of Ryuma. Okay. It's some sort of thriller bark for a back. What do you think about that? What do you think about him being able I to like it. others? I like it. Christian. Ghosts? Bring I back. S- Brooke has potential to be busted, Christian, with his devil fruit. Well, if you think about it. And soul power. If you think about it, we have Moria in this arc, maybe. Perhaps. Where does he fit? I don't know. I don't know. Do we have Hogback? If Mori's know. here, we need Hogback. What the fuck is Hogback doing? He builds the zombies. Yeah, w- yeah, what is he doing now? We don't know. That's true. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Brook can revive spirits with his ultimate... I want to see... I want to see... What do you want to see? Humming Brook return. Give me the Bink Sake every time he does an attack. You know what I'm talking about? I do. Through the bar. I want to see the move being sake. Revive final, the final attack from Brook. Freezes Alkiji crazy freezing shit. Yeah. Summons then, the ship out of the void. And then, and then I already cut you 20 years ago. Because yeah. I have the time for it. That's what I want to see. Brook has the time for it. Brook's speed, he's, he's more of a he's more of a fencer type. Kind of. Yeah, kind of. He's also got samurai moves. Sort of a hybrid. Yep. Between Cane and... Sword, sharpened by the long uh, long arm. <laughs> <laughs> no haki for Brook, obviously. He has the soul powers, doesn't need haki. Yeah. But does that apply to Big Mom or does that apply to everyone? Well he takes a soul, Christian. Specifically what Haki sure. does. 
Sure. I can accept that reason for bypassing Delphi. Does Brook bypass Carter's defences? He's how old is he? 90. 90. He's not going to learn hockey. He's 90 <laughs> years old. <laughs> can Brook soul power bypass Carter's Brooke's song talented? ability will do something. Put goons to sleep. Might, it might buff the entire war. Might be the, the <laughs> war drums, Christian. Yes. Now, who's he going to fight? A strong headliner. Do you think it's a samurai? As soon as anyone fights a headliner and struggles, it's the trash day. People are going to put tra- label trash straight on them. Sure. But Brooke, not the strongest. But we speculate Brooke more of an infiltration role as standard. Brooke has I don't become. know if that's as standard. Well, as we saw it once, so we can. As recently. So, sure. Brooke. I don't know, Brooke's like a weird character because like... I want to see him fight one of Kazuki, one of the, one of Orochi's men. He like, he like gets to fight after Zoro, after Saji, after Frankie. No, he... Like, he, how low yeah, okay. are we going in order until we hit Brooke? Well, I think Brooke's going to get his fight during the Orochi, po- the Orochi portion when he's fighting a samurai. Maybe Swords. a general or something. Yeah. Okay. He's got the ice powers, maybe he fights the fight, you know. Do we think he has a potential... For his soul to become so strong, mm. his homey ability works on normal people. A la Conqueror's. A la Soul Reaper Brook. Soul Reaper Brook. A la the Death Lord. A la the Soul King. That's crazy. That's a crazy theory. Death Reaper Brook. Now, have we seen him already go all out at Whole Cake Island? Maybe. You would assume so. There's more, there's more abilities to come off this empowered soul, clearly. We sure. haven't seen everything. We've seen the the empowered soul form. Yeah. Where he's like using the soul with the with the sword on the on the ship. Yeah. We he fought Beam Arm, so surely he's brought everything out of the bay. Okay. But uh, we need to see because he used that soul against the homies to rip their souls out. Surely that has more utility and use in a fight than that specific. What if thing. he can create homies? I was about to say that maybe his ability end game just turns into Big Mom's fruit. Why not? Take souls and redistribute them. Yeah, it's because of his soul ability, not necessarily because of his devil fruit. It's because of his musical talent and his soul ability. Yeah. The frequency of his soul. And he kind of went to the underworld and... His and strong then... soul. Brooke has a strong soul. Yeah. So, will Brooke get a fight in Wano? He got one at Whole Cake Island. I mean, he kind of got one. He fought Big Mom. He got dominated. I mean, Brooke did well against Big Mom. He did in... No. Hype speech... He had high speeches, he had the ego dog. Cut Big Mom's Zeus to much of the community's chagrin. Sure. But, got dominated, nonetheless. You did. It's kind of hard to give Brooke a fight, because it's going to have to be like, the fucking D tier. It's going to be before Zoro, because Zoro is the ultimate swordsman hype. Yeah. Alright. So, that's what we got for Brooke. Now. Yeah. On to the Pale Scale. Yes. Christian, the Pale Scale. Do you want to go first? Who wants the story? Let's see the ever-growing, insane list of characters that we have. Total to 92. Total to 92. Now, do we have the man... Diamond Jozu. Who wants to do Jozu? I don't think so. Hody Jones. Johnny and Yosuka. No Jozu. No Jozu. Diamond Jozu. Third division commander? Yes. Yes. Third division commander of the White Bear Pirates. Alright. Diamond Fruit. Possibly dead due to shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright. Lost an arm to Alkiji. Yep. Got absolutely dominated by Alkiji. Okay. Has Haki. Confirmed. Be able to hit Alkiji. Be able to hit Crocodile. Yep. Uh, picked up. Very strong. Very good physical strength. Yeah. Very good defense. Yep. Would be very difficult for someone to beat Jozu unless you're Alkiji. Unless you have 
elemental arcane delph root abilities m- m- fucking craziness I would argue that Law would have a pretty easy time against Jozu jo- Law would have an easy time with Jozu but can Law card diamond Jozu's pretty quick though can Law card diamond I mean the, the, it doesn't matter because of his ability Haki okay we don't there's a whole bunch of fuck Law fuck Law in this conversation All right. who cares about Law so it's not really a matchup. What I'm saying he's is, pretty quick as well. He's quick. Uh not shown in any game. But linear in his movement. move sets. Sure. He did get a good hit on LKG. Yeah. He got a good hit, bloodied him. Okay. Bloodied LKG. Bloodied. Bloodied. Indeed. Uh fought a, fairly well in the white bid war. I uh, got taken out. I think, we're gonna, I think we're going to struggle between high and low high and we're bringing up the point again that there probably should be a bracket between. But well, we've we got Ace and low high. Yeah. And Ace is the second division commander. I'm going to argue that Jozu can't fit into high tier because he doesn't have an X Factor. We talk about the X Factor The X Factor could be the Diamond Fruit. Sure. What's Katakuri going to do against the Diamond Fruit? Heavy defense. What's Katakuri going to do against the Diamond Fruit? I don't know. What's he going to do against the Diamond Fruit? Can we talk about... Yeah, but then, then you get into like a kind of like a Jack versus Katakuri situation. Yeah, where no like Katakuri each other. Kind of, no yeah, each other. Yeah. What do we think, Christian? What is Cracker going to do against Jozu? It just uh, outlast. We don't know about Jozu's stamina. He's, okay. a, he's a white big commander. He lasted the whole war. He got... F- he got fucking parasited by Mingo. Do you want to talk about that? I mean... What's the limits of Mingo's Mingo's range, broken. Okay. Mingo's broken. You get hit by that ability, you get done by it. Jozu is very impressive, Christian, but again, we're, we, he's got pros and cons. The X Factor comes into play. I think the X Factor is the Diamond Fruit. Okay. If you don't have... I mean, we're gonna, we have to mention the Mihawk. He blocked the Mihawk attack. And push it upwards. Push it upwards. Okay. Very strong. Very... F- pretty quick. Heavy defense. You could say Mihawk was going all out in that attack. Because he did say he wanted to test his strength against Whitebeard. Sure. But distance, dilute, whatever. You can you can, you can make it. It's arguments. a powerful Mihawk attack. It's if not it, a casual attack. It's not named. It's not casual. It's it's mid-diff. He said, I want to test my strength against all Whitebeard. Right. He blocked it. But the, arg- it upwards. the argument boils down to, very impressive attack. Very impressive speed. Very impressive defense. Very impressive defense. Got gooned out by Sub Zero coldness. All right. Ice. Gooned out by Admirals. All right. That's whatever. And, uh, you know. Linear in attacking. Sure. We're talking shoulder charges mostly. Is it a Burgess situation? Super strong. But linear in but linear in nature, therefore, struggles. I think he beats most people in low high. He beats Virgo. Come on. He, he's got to be the top tier of, of low high, surely. He beats Virgo. What's on Burgess versus Jozu? Jozu takes out of the bag. How's Burgess going to even damage Jozu? Strength versus strength. Can Jozu even take physical damage? Make, it's, it's, make it. the, it's the Mr. One situation, but with diamonds. I'm okay with high. Nah, yeah. But then we're going to talk about Ace. Ace is a high tier in the white beard. But he skipped a whole bunch. We talked bunch. about Ace. He suffers Logia. The Logia syndrome. That's true. How does he do against black beard? Not well. Right? Takes away the diamond. Sure. I'm going to have to say... If Ace is in there, we can put Jozu in there, surely. Low high. Yeah. But he beats most people in low high. He might be the to- he might be the ceiling of low high. He beats Oven. He beats Daifuku. He beats Ivankov. beats Perispero. Eh, yeah, he beats Perispero. Maybe not Ace. Maybe Boa gets it done with the fucking bullshit. Devil yeah. X Factor. Virgo, no. No, he, d- he demolishes Virgo. Yeah, so demolishes maybe. Rob Lucci. Maybe he's like... Uh, Maybe Rakugan, Rakugan goes through, goes through the body. Through. I don't know. The six king pistol. Yeah, so we understand Jozu's immense 
physical feats, linear, linear attack patterns, and lack of X factor makes him in low high. Yeah. No range to speak of. No elemental effects. To I think I think Jack is the next evolution of Joseph. Yeah. Because Jack has that five day feat. That Josie, Josie doesn't. doesn't. Jack right. has the Nekoromushi Inarashi feat. That Josie doesn't. And confirmed Josie. constant fighting for five days. No breaks, no bullshit. Super stamina. We don't know the level of stamina. Josie's missing an arm now. Yeah. Apparently. What do you mean apparently? Did, uh, it's, it's not off. confirmed. Right. It's off, but it's like, is it off or is it just drawn that way for effect? No. Right. Done? You happy? Yeah. Jozu, I want to do Buggy. Surely you've done Buggy. Captain Buggy. Yes, we have. Low, low. Buggy's low, low? Well, <laughs> that puts a spanner in the works, doesn't it? Do you ever done Mark Rukus? Yes. No. No. No Marco? No Marco. White Beard Pirate Special. Marco the Phoenix, does he reach to high tier? He's he got that X a, Factor. He's got the X Factor that Josie does it. He has the strength to knock back an Emerald. Yes. Emerald. Kizaru. Kick. Kick, kick Kizaru back. Has that hockey. Because of that does kick. Does have that hockey. Um, managed to kind of stop Arcane in his tracks. Yeah. Uh, can heal any damage. Now, there is a limit to it. Confirmed by Oda. Yeah. By SBS. But it's got to be immense. Stamina, devil fruit, bullshit. He's a Zolwin as well. Give me Legend- a break. Legendary. Larry mythical, mythical Zolwin. So he's got that extra stamina, extra strength, yep. extra speed. He has a flying devil fruit. Never forget the X Factor of flight. Yeah. In a flight. Indeed. I would love to see a fight between Doflamingo and Marco. Now, does Haki... Can Haki damage be healed? I'm going to say yes. Yes, because he heals people of their elements. It's a healing devil fruit. Yeah. Why would Haki negate that healing? It wouldn't. He would it get wouldn't. damaged. He would be damaged, but he could just heal it. Yeah. He's not damaged by the light attacks. He's both Logia and Zoen. And he can heal. And he's got healing. X-Factor, Christian. This is what we're talking about when we're talking about high tier. He's got strength. He's got speed. He's got X-Factor. Yep. Now, the feds, we don't know. Maybe Blackbeard, that's how he lost. Sure. Now, Jozu, no Marco, seems kind of fine after the white beard, after the Blackbeard. Yeah, no missing limbs, no scars. Yeah. Because he's got the healing factor. They lost, though. They lost to Blackbeard Pirates. We didn't bring that up with Jozu. Who knows if Jozu was there? Jozu, Jozu was there. Now, Christian. Then we're going to talk about guard punching. Garp's a legendary hero in the Navy. Right? Like Go up. Go up a tier. Go up a tier. And guess who's there? Garp. Okay. Guess who's there? Garp. I think that's fair. I think high's, for high's fair for Marco. High's definitely fair for Second, Marco. Second, first. Right hand man. Right hand to right man. Right right Give me a break. Via the right hand man rules, he has to be in high tier. And expected to be seen in Wano with hockey feats increased. Probably. Definitely. Alright. The question. Oh, question. Yes. Go. Cool. Many a question this week. Glam has a billion questions. Yeah. What's up with that? He said a bro- Silver's got a, a few, so we might as well put in a few. Will Shaw had to ever get a pet. They already have Chopper. Yep. And if you don't think so... What would you choose if you had to absolutely pick something? Chopper. Laboon is my first choice. Laboon? I don't know about Laboon. Too big. Laboon creates logistical problems, yeah. but it could also carry the ship. I mean, we got to deal with a human human fruit. And that's also a Don't forget, Laboon also has a house inside of him. That's true. So Laboon also... <laughs> Fuck, Laboon's dumb. So you also get the benefit of a, hide- a hideout while... You can submerge underwater. You have a submarine. submarine. Okay. Well, Boone's a good choice, but logistical problems. You have to park him. He's not going to get involved in arcs. Let's stay in the ocean. 
Unless we get some sort of bullshit. Lagoon might be a good ship. Who knows? Unless we get some sort of bullshit uh, coding where you can float and he's in the ark. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, uh, yeah. They only have Chopper. Chopper's the pet. As the world government thinks he yep. is. So, Chopper. He is the mascot character. Will napping follow the likeness of the fellow Pompadour users? Uh, f- guy from Yu Yu Hakusho I use the spirit sword technique do you know who this guy is? yeah I think so the guy with the yeah. orange yeah. pompadour looks like an idiot he's basically asking why we want to use lightsabers fire spirits maybe Kizaru is the only one who does that okay that's Kizaru's move there we go will anyone in want to use something like that? me? Yeah, no spirit sword they got fire I think it's going to be more elemental someone needs a devil fruit for that yeah, Kizaru. Yeah. Kizaru does that. Kizaru's going to be in the There's not going to be a sword that's like, has a spirit in it. Will anyone use something like this in Wano? Yes, because Kizaru's going to be in the art. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Will, this, will the power scale be adjusted for characters already on it? Yes. Yes. When we've, evidence is brought up. We've already done this so before. So, Marco, probably not likely to move up, but if he were to show Amaral Fears, would move him up. If he, like, destroys only got your arm with one kick... Maybe we'll move up. Alright. I mean... You know. Luffy can do that. And I assume. And we'll too. So. We, we already have changed it, haven't we? Yeah. With the Stally tier, with the... We, we move tier. it. We do what we want. There's no rules. From Aspen Log. Did the strongest Calamity Wano... It's a criminal. A uh, criminal Wano, Ashura, have the legendary Kotetsu sword and used it and used its curses, pe- cursed power. Sure. This has to relate to the fucking Zoro Ashura bullshit demons. Relax, alright? Stop with this theory. I get that his name is Ashura. That doesn't mean he has to do with the ability... I bet you he named himself that. His name's probably Jim and he calls himself Ashura. <laughs> Just hype himself. Yeah. He's his own hype. I'm man. Ashura, the demon child. <laughs> Bartholomew Kuma has a question. Do you guys think Mamba's sister is the wife or ward of Shogun? So it's sort of like a sacrifice. Or it could be like, a, you, but you abandoned me, I'm going to take revenge. Maybe. Maybe. I doubt it though. I, I think she's going to be part of the crew of the Alliance. Yeah, it's going to be some dumb joke where like, Mamba's bossing her around and she's 20 years young, older than him, but yeah. still younger than him. He's, he's the older brother, but she's older than him. Shit like that. From Silvers. How far do you think the power scaling will go in the series? Will we stay with it with with what we've got? You know, big names. Yeah. You know, island destroyers. You know, over time, or will One Piece become like in the series like Naruto, where they can the casual drop nukes with one attack? Highest level will be the King Kong Gatling dog. Uh, we've already seen the high high levels. Uh, emperors. Yeah. Already stated to be the strongest thing in the world. Now the problem with Naruto is it lost its identity. No. Because it just became a nuke fest. Yeah. Used to be about ninjas and martial arts. Used to be about martial arts, just turned into Dragon Ball Z nonsense. Yeah. For every attack. Don't even fist fight. It just turned into black balls. Yeah. Naruto turned, lost his identity in the final war. This became Dragon Ball the Z. The most, the strongest attack we'll see in the series will be the King Kong Gatling and it'll tremor or, the earth. Or whatever Blackbeard's gonna do. With his bullshit world ender, because he's had a night, he's, he's upset. And Dude, he's the King Kong Gatling's going to be disgusting. Yeah, but Blackbeard's going to be like, I have the power to destroy the world. He's going to be filthy, yeah, he's going to say it and never do it. And no, he's going to he's he's start it, and Luffy's going to kill him. Start the cataclysm. Yeah. And then he drowns. And then he drowns. Alright. From White Bear Beppo. He's trying... Uh, Akazaya. The most likely translation is the Red Scabbers, and you can use it if you don't want to use, pronounce the Japanese. Okay. Question, what is your favourite weapon and elemental power? Favourite weapon? Swords. Katana. Steady sword. Classic. I've gone towards more of the Western sword lately. Okay. Because you can do more with it, you know, hilts, crazy designs. You can do more with it. Katana, fairly straightforward. There's only one Katana. Sure, but keep it simple, dog. Cool two-handed sword size. I mean, it's a Katana's a Katana. Katana's a Katana. It's a cool weapon, but... I don't know. I'm, 
I I'm like, mental. I'm kind of stuck between fire and lightning. Yeah. Depends on how it's done, I guess. Fire's kind of played out. Fire is kind of played out. And then no one ever uses it properly to depict heat in an appropriate manner. I haven't seen wind be used well, apart from Avatar The Last Sandbender. Okay. Uh, water's Boring. cool when it's ice. Yeah. Water's bare, always. I mean, it depends who's doing it. Because they always don't want to go OP with it. Yeah. Ice is cool, but that's water. Earth? Probably the cool earth is earth bending. Yeah. And maybe like peak. A peak is crazy. Okay. If you you need the choreography with the, with the abilities, Christian. I mean, this is a strictly related to One Piece. So, what is your favorite elemental power? It's probably going to be lightning. Because it's just cool. I know. I really need to work on his elements. What about Shadow? Facts. Yeah. I uh, light? I get the Red Hawk's hot, right? No, actually, light might be my favorite elemental ability. Is light an element? I don't know. It is to me. Whatever. Might say light. Yeah. Okay. You know, lasers, bullshit. Sure. And, uh, yeah, that's that question answered. Ice Cream and KFC uh, react. This is a reaction to uh, Silver's question of how to get big. Yeah. What's the flavor of ice cream to get big? And what's the KFC menu to get big? Now, I'm not going to... Uh, the Australian KFC menu is very different to the American one. Yeah, get See, the KFC in Australia is more about burgers. Get yourself. The Zinger Stacker. Stacker box large. What's in that? The Zinger Stacker. Zinger Stacker. What's what's, what, was that, what is that? Two Zinger... Patties. Now, what's a zinger? I, I think they got zingers over there. They got zingers over there? Who knows what's going on in America? Whatever. Fat Daddy Burger with a couple of pieces of chicken, potato and gravy and chips. And a drink. Get two of those if you want to get big. Uh, flavor of ice cream to get big. I mean, we're through, the, we're through the ice cream situation already. But to get big. To get big? You have to eat a lot of the... You have to, it's about volume. I mean, it's about the sugar content, so you might as well go lemon. Is it the most sugar? Probably. There's no real flavour to get off as part of sugar. Lemon's got a flavour. Sure. No good without sugar. Lemon ice cream is not really a thing. Sure. Uh, coffee, just for the energy kick. Yeah, for the energy let's kick. Go, let's go with that. The caffeine plus the sugar. And you're not going to feel like a piece of shit. Oh, well, you probably will. Yeah, you definitely but will. But it'll take longer. Because you got that rush of the caffeine. So that's, that was from fans. If you want to if you want to die, right? Yeah. Two zinger stacker boxes large. You can't do it. And then a liter. <laughs> a liter of, of, of coffee of, ice cream. Of coffee ice cream. If you want to throw up. It's insane. Uh, that was from fandom D Saint from, uh, AK, AK Aurora. It's fucking formatting. It's your fault. It's you your added fault. to the dock. The formatting was fine. Thoughts on 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 the part Oda skipped? Any suggestions of what happened? Now this was the execution. Well, there's a lot of there's a few parts that are skipped, like how, like why did he, the the, the events that occurred that we went through already. Yeah. We'll get them. There's usually yeah. very little mystery as to what happens. We'll we'll get the full flashback eventually. Yeah. But yeah. The parts were like Odin ruling and shit, whatever. That just that's just day to day slice of life shit. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, we will see it. Any suggestions of what happened? Uh, we already t- kind of talked about it with yeah. like, uh, Kaido B from Odin Ga- Odin Vi- Island, uh, Orochi going over there to recruit him. To Maybe the- Odin's father, uh, oh, ex- yeah. executing because yeah. he went against the laws. Yeah, or Orochi go whatever to make the deal with the devil. Yeah, that kind of thing. So, from John or Giovanna, can a sh- are you a Shiva take over the East Blue? That's an easy question. I want to say yes. The only struggle he might have is Arlong. Nah, he's got Arlong covered. Can Yurishima destroy uh, Arlong Park with a single attack? He matches Gear. Well, not Gear Three. He matches and Luffy's he's... base strength in. In the post ice skip, so. And he's shattering people's bones. It's sending him flying. Sure, 
But then again, Garp's in the East Blue. Yeah, I was going to say, the only trouble's Garp. If he's there. If he's hanging around. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so yeah. Well, there's other islands in the East Blue that we never went to. But, you know. I mean, apparently Germa was needed in the East Blue. Not being Germa. No, nah, not being Germa. Okay. If they were there. And there's a threat that they But if, if no... New World Peace... Well, Any uh, given day, Yurushim is the king of the East Blue. Sure. That's crazy. There you go. How far have we come, Christian? There we go. There you go. East Blue really is the... That's, uh, that's all the questions. That's the show. There you go. Christian, JoJo shows doing well. It if is. If you like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, or just, just watch it. Just watch it. Give it a like. Give it some questions. We need questions. The view count might segment. be good. I don't know about the, the retention. Now. Yeah. I don't know about the, the comments. I don't know about the likes. Likes are good. Yeah, okay. Um... I just need people to comment on the video so I get questions for the mail. If you don't know anything about JoJo, just you know, give it a shot. Part 5. Part 5, very good. According to Grisha. I don't know, I haven't seen it. It's got the best crew. Okay. I'll say that. Look forward to that Saturday. Slash Friday for Depends. It'd be, it could it'd come out Saturday for everyone. Okay. Which is how it's going to be. Uh, if you get this far in the video, Christian, you probably should have subscribed. Surely you subscribed. We do this every week. Like the video. Comment on the video. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Watch every other video. <laughs> Three times. I don't think that counts. You have to you only counts once. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Change the cookie. Change the cookie. You might as well just fucking clap again. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Dolmen. Let's do this again. You fucking idiot.